Today we're going to be looking at this lovely Etcherfield case and also this recently purchased bag that I got. Um, and the reason why I got this is because I'm going to be going on a field trip and I want to be able to carry a bunch of stuff, um, especially my painting supplies. That way I can sketch while I'm on my field trip. Um, and then here's this bag that I have always talked about and you have seen in vlogs and you guys already know how much I love it. But it's kind of restricting because of how small it is. Um, I can't fit everything that I do want to take with me, um, especially when it comes to like painting stuff. Um, since this bag already carries a bunch of stuff and you could fill it up i could fill it up even more but i don't really like um how bulky it is um if i put a bunch of stuff because then it's harder for me to just open and then close and i'm always like struggling to close it especially when i take it to class and then i have to kind of just clean up my stuff and then get going or when like i'm outside and i'm sketching and i kind of just have to be on a rush sometimes after I clean up after myself and I really hate cleaning up after myself as well uh, but I really do love this bag and I'll continue to use it just for um, times that I'm gonna be sketching with like ink or water soluble things um, and I will still have this little sketchbook in here and this sketchbook will just stay in here forever <laughs> Um, and then my watercolor set that I always have with me um, will be going inside this bag from now on. And I'm also going to transfer a lot of art supplies that I have in here to this bag just because they're kind of repeated art supplies. And I don't need this many um, microns in here. I just have them there and I'm going to be taking out these brushes and then putting them in here because I never use them because uh, of how restricting it is and I can't take a little um, cup those like foldable cups like they just don't fit in here I mean they could fit in here like if I were to take out like the watercolors and stuff like that but that kind of defeats the purpose of having everything inside this bag all in all, this bag is going to stay as my dry mediums or uh, my pens and inks. Um, that's all we'll probably carry in here. And then as well as the sketchbook. So I can draw. And then in this bag will be all various sorts of mediums in here. I'm thinking of putting in some alcohol markers in here as well. So we'll see how that goes. And also some alcohol markers in here as well. One of the biggest things that I was looking for in a new art bag is a satchel style art bag. Um, so I have this strap. And then I was also looking for something that was um, a little bit elongated, not too square, but also not super long. And something that was just wide enough to carry um, things like sketchbooks and these sketchbooks. And then also, I was looking for something that I could carry my little cup right here, which I just recently got. And it's been working really well. I really love this little cup. Um, I've taken it to school um, a couple times already. And I really like it. It's very useful. And then I also purchased this battery. Uh, not battery. I purchased this sharpener that you can sharpen pencils with and other stuff so yeah i wanted to make sure that it would fit something like this um hopefully that sharpener works because if it doesn't that would um it would suck but yeah i wanted something that would be able to fit in like little sketchbooks like this and also just palettes as well um something that was long enough so you could put like color pencils so there's that and then if I wanted to, who knows if I could put it in a water. Oh, look, I can put it in a drink in here if I wanted to. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I was looking for in a bag. 
and then also i was looking for a bag that had a lot of pockets or a little um i zip up the stuff that way i could easily access things and this does this has a pocket back here so if i need to grab a paper or something really quick maybe my id um maybe my wallet um so there's that there's this little tiny pocket right here i could put in chapstick and then here is the main pocket so on amazon which is where i got this bag i was looking for so many various types of styles and i landed on this one mainly because i saw somebody else using it as um an art bag so i was like oh that looks really cool and then i was like well this one looks like it has the most pockets and it looks like it fits a bunch of stuff which a lot of people said that it did and yeah there's that one and then there's this one down here and then and there's this one and then the main one is right here this is the main pocket so this is my first time actually look not my, my first time looking at it um with you guys um i opened it already but i'm just really trying to like trying to see if it'll work which i think it will um i don't see any damages on here so that's good like i already got like a first look at this pocket before but i didn't really check out anything inside but it looks good it doesn't look like there's any rips or any wrong stitches so that's good the quality seems good yeah and then there was a few other colors um i'll put the link down below that way you guys can check this bag out and if you guys want to try it out because as i said i will be testing it out when i go on my field trip um so hopefully i like it i think i will though because this is exactly what i was looking for something like this something that was this size and something that had a bunch of pockets so here we are we're gonna decorate this lovely bag and here i have some pins i purposely got a canvas bag just so i could decorate it as well and my etcher field case bag i was unable to do that because it just leaves holes in the material since it is like a waterproof material um so i didn't want to ruin the bag just yeah so but this one i can just poke holes in it and nothing will happen so i think we're gonna put this bunny on in here this pin right here my friend got me um at a convention and then this one i just already had on my pencil pouch i'm sure you guys have seen it you guys have been watching my videos um the pencil pouch i still have i just no longer use it because it was always just on my desk and i never took it around anywhere so before i had like an extra bag i would just carry it around my pencil case and that would kind of be my to go um art supplies in there if i needed to no this one is my favorite one so i might put this one up here because i freaking love this pen if it if it'll go through if it goes through that would be great oh wait no but i can't put it right there because this is where the little pocket is so i can't do that otherwise but i can put it here maybe here maybe here maybe i can put it in here so even though the material for this bag is canvas it's really thick and it's been difficult getting these pins in just because of how thick the material is, which is really nice. Um, so that's a plus. And there the pins are. And then, so this is how it's going to look like. Ta-da! Oh, and then one more thing. I got this really cute little bunny um, at Powell's bookstore when I went there. Um, with a few friends and I saw it and I was like I have to get it so I got it um, so 
there's that. Then I don't know if I should rip this or not. Actually, I'll just rip it. I don't need it on here. So one thing that I didn't notice was that this bag only has one of these little keychain thingies on this side. But it doesn't have it on this side. So there's that. But it's okay. Um, it kind of just sucks though because I wanted to carry this bag on my left shoulder. I mean my right shoulder because then I can grab stuff with my right hand to my left and then not use my left hand to grab stuff to the right i don't know if that makes sense to you guys but there's that uh other than that i am really liking this bag already so let's just fill this bag up with stuff it's black so this bag already has two fountain pens so what I will do is I'm gonna carry this fountain pen in here, then leave this one in here, the more fancier one, and it'll just go right here. Oh no, actually it'll go right here because it. Wait, sorry. Oh no, I thought that was a single. Um, fine then, it'll go right here. Hmm. There we go. So there's that. And then what else should I take from here? I know I will need this one. Let's take that bad boy out and put it in here. And then I have two of these. Oh, what is this one? Oh, yeah, this one's a really thick um uh, I don't think I'll be needing this one in here. And then this one is a thin one. So I don't want to take that one with me. So I guess I'll leave these two here. And I'll um, leave this one. I'll put this one back in here. Because this is where it was originally. And then microns. We don't need all the microns in here. So let's take an O3. Because I really like the look of the O3. When it comes to like outlining stuff. Oh my god, look at that. It looks like there's not even a nibble on there. Or a point. But there is. It's there. So we're going to put that one in here. This will be the ink section. And then I think that'll be all for the ink stuff. And then here are all the brushes. That I need to put over here onto this side. Oh yeah, look, I have this little scissors right here. Ta-da! Which I do use. So that one's going to stay in there. And then I have another little scissors. That is a purple one. And because I don't need an extra one to be here on my desk. Since my scissors are really close by, which are these blue ones. Um, I'm going to put this one in here. So maybe these will go, hmm, maybe not there. I'm going to fit in here. I guess they don't fit in there. And then back here is a bit too big. But should maybe down here. Hmm, maybe not there. See, this is the thing about the organizing things in like a new art bag is kind of have to figure out where to put stuff now. Hmm. Okay, we'll figure this out later. Hmm, does this have any pockets? Oh, this doesn't have any pockets. So maybe that bag would have pockets in some of them. But it doesn't. So let's try it with these stuff. Here's a sketchbook that I got. You guys saw this on a vlog. If you guys didn't, you guys can always check out that video. Um, and I also made a video about sketchbooks, so you guys can check that out. I have obviously not used it yet, but I will definitely on my future. Sketchbooks are always like the easiest to like fix in the bag. Here's this one. I have done a few paintings on here, but not as much. But just a few. Um so I'm gonna put that in here. And then we're also actually you know what else we can put in here? I'm thinking maybe my watercolors can go in here. 
yeah, we'll do that. We'll put my watercolors in here as well. And there's little, this little tiny one. This is by um, Flop Aquarelas. And I've done a review on this little tin. But I haven't used a lot of it. Like, it's already been a whole year. And I, oh no, I think it's already been two years. And this is how much I've used. So maybe we can do some cool stuff with this if it stays in this bag. But I don't want it to be in there because I feel like it will get lost in there. So we'll move on to this bag. And we'll put things here. So I think this is one of those bags where like I won't be able to like carry and like well that's what I'm guessing. I don't think I'll be able to like be painting and standing at the same time and I won't be able to get stuff out quickly if they're like in this pouch right here so I think this is gonna be more of like I'm sitting down at a table I'm sitting down on a bench or something and then you know I'm painting I feel like this this bag will work for those kinds of situations but this bag on the other hand this bag is different because I would be standing and then I would also be able to get stuff out from here because I would just open one side like this and because everything is kept like in these really tight little um, holders, nothing would be falling out while I was like opening my bag. So I would just pull things out and then put them back in as I was standing and drawing at the same time with like this one. Oops. Close it up. And then let's put this. Will it work? Will that work? Yay, it fits. Can go in there. But now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. So these back pockets have no use. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put these in here. Just right there. And then if I wanted to grab these in here. Ta-da! Oh yeah, here's this little thing for your keychains or keys, which I will probably never use, but they're in there. And then we could just need this little one right in here. But I really wanted the cup to fit right here, but I guess it won't fit. Will it close? That is a real question. Will it close? It closes. That's good. That's a good thing. I feel like that is always going to bother me. Me having to open and close. I guess I'll just have to get used to it. It'd be nice if it was magnetic. Now I'll put something in here. I'll put chapstick in here. Because like that's good. And then something else that I'm thinking of doing is putting um, a um, pencil pouch in here. On this side. Because it looks like it will fit. And that pencil pouch will be for my color pencils which I have yet to use. But here they are. But let's just look at them. Let's open them because I'm sick and tired of waiting. Wow. So I have ordered uh, fiber castles before, but then I just returned them because I had already gotten the Curran Dosh ones. But these ones are going to be specifically just for sketching and when I'm at school. That is a lot of color pencils. That's a huge amount of color pencils. And then I also got some extra ones. Here they are. I got some green ones because they don't have green in this um, set. 
And I like all the colors in the set, which is nice. Um, I had previously just bought in like single color pencils, but then I returned them because then I was like, oh, that's pretty expensive just buying these in singles because I think they're like $3 each. And I got them for like two, I want to say like two seventy five, but that was still pretty expensive uh, for me. And I got like seven of them. And then I was like, mm. I was like, that's pretty expensive just for seven color pencils. So I ended up just buying a whole set, which I spent more money on buying a set. But when I looked at the math, I actually spent less because either ways I would have gotten more color pencils in the future. So I was like, I might as well just buy them now. I feel like I've been getting a lot of more supplies, but I don't. I don't think so. I think I've just been like upgrading. I think that's the thing. I've been upgrading a lot of my art supplies. And now we're gonna be looking at this sharpener. So this I got it off Amazon and hopefully it works. There's a little brush thing in here. I think that's to clean it. I don't know. I never read instructions, which I should. But it should be pretty simple. There's some. There's some extra. Just do. So after putting in some batteries, it is time to test it out. Um, which of these sharpen, sharpen? Oh, this one. This one. This one's pretty dull. Oh, nothing's happening. Maybe there's an on button. So I put the batteries on wrong. Uh, so it didn't want to work. But now that I put them on right, hopefully it works. <gasps> Look at that! Oh yeah, I didn't even show you guys how the color pencil looks like. Oh. Let's find another one that is not sharpened. Hmm, all these are quite pointy. Um, oh, this one, this green one. Oh yeah, I'll show you. This is what it looks like. This is the after. Wow, that looks, that looks really nice. Well, at least it works. So this will go inside my bag. Now that we know that this sharpener works, we're going to see if it fits inside this bag. Hopefully it will because I need a portable sharpener. Will it fit? Will it fit? Will it fit? It fits! Yay! Look at that. It fits. But let's see if it fits if I were to just stack it up like this. Maybe I'm asking too much for it to be. Well, I guess not. Or maybe. No. No. Okay. Well, it doesn't fit like that, but it sure does fit out here on the side. Which is cool. That's great. And then I guess my pencil pouch is probably going to go this way. Hopefully it will fit. Um, once I get a pencil pouch for these color pencils. That is a lot.
I always use them because the first initial like mark making, like I never like oh, you actually follow it. Yeah, follow it. Yeah. So oh, I always yeah. erase it. Yeah. But other other than that, like I don't erase. It's just that just that one time, that first marking that I always make. You know how like when people draw, they're all like, oh, don't try not to use a, a eraser. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I did that, right? Like yeah. I tried it, mm -hmm. and then because of that, I can't. I don't really need an eraser. So um, I'm like, oh wow. Wow, did she? She had a band. No, no, no. I meant like I meant like. Instant. She could do that. And because color pencil, like I can't really erase it really well, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, like, no, I don't know. I don't see the point. Like for me, I mean, yeah. And I just do sketches. I don't do like. Mm -hmm. Because you're like complete drawing to my arms. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yours are, li yours are like only line work, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you don't, I don't do like no. I just Unless it's like a, you're doing with like a highlighter or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 